Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into our Gaul game. Uh, we can lock another district here, which is exciting. So we're committing to the uh, Mahabadi here. Even though it's super awkward, I would love to build the Wonder somewhere more centralized, where we can where we can put it next to uh, some planned theater squares and things like that. But uh, I'd rather just get it rather than not get it, so that we can make sure we, uh, you know, we have it. Uh, I think... If I chop you, then I can culture bomb here and save myself the money for that. Nice, Rich. That's good, too. We've been talking about Saturday Night Live on uh, on stream. What, what era of Saturday Night Live did you grow up with, YouTubers? We were talking about the late 90s. I, I, think, I think the thing about Saturday Night Live is that it, it has to hit you at the right time in your life. It appeals to, like, largely middle schoolers. It's like a brand new world. Shaka's looking at me funny. Is he? It's not too funny. All right. I think I'm sticking with monumentality here. Shwetty Balls is pretty good. Hybrid. Yeah, that's a good SNL bit. Let's stick with Monumentality. We have massive faith gen from our quarries. <laughs> Lol. Um, but honestly, we have some. And that's good enough. And I can't get rid of this. This needs to stay. It's got some units near me in the fog. I think we'll be able to respond to it, hopefully. I've got some units nearby. Alright, let's finish this now. All right, we finally got our vampire invite. So I might want to think about committing to that. Might want to think about committing to that. Can I even get you enough growth that you're not going to lose a population here soon? I, and you, I can get them some farms? Bye, Lordy. We'll see you later on. How about you heal a sec? And you're coming up here. We are back in Monumentality, so I can go ahead and buy a couple more builders. Seems good. Don't need Diplo League anymore. Who's gone for great people? Pwned by noob asking for my advice in five words. A train is leaving Chicago at 60 miles an hour, JK. If I was, I was to watch SNL again, what, what is the skit you should start with? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh, we're about to get this, too. This will build us mausoleum, hopefully. Actually, I need to get this city some love. Uh, what should you start with? Honestly, the Celebrity Jeopardies are a great place to start. I really do enjoy the Celebrity Jeopardy stuff. That would be my recommendation. Alright, now we can circumnavigate. So religions, I think we can get we can get like twelve faith per turn out of uh, out of our religion maybe. Some of the stuff is kind of cringy. I mean that's comedy over time, right, Grimace? Like comedy, comedy becomes cringe over time because good comedy should be pushing the forefronts of people's like comfort levels like part part of what makes us laugh is like oh my gosh i can't believe you said that that's so ridiculous and so it should always be moving forward on the cusp of like where where people's comfort levels are and th and by definition if you're constantly pushing things forward like that then then stuff that's 20 years old is by nature going to feel a little 
cringe because that progress has already happened and we've already like we've already e expended what the joke would be uh at least that's the way i look at it I have one envoy against two is here. Take that. Jebel, okay, that's fine. All right, and here's our first Congress. We do not want to take this lightly. We do not want to take this lightly. So what if we do, I think we try to vote with Shaka and Harold. Do we think it's going to be production or gold on this? The Lonely Island group is pretty great. There's some, there are some things that, that, that wind up holding up as far as comedy goes. But I think a lot of comedians try to push, push, push the uh, envelope, as it were. Maybe double for scientists. That makes sense if Robert the Bruce wants this, right? And then production here, maybe. And how much do we commit to it? Is this enough? And save ourselves 50. We basically spend half our budget here. The victory condition we have in mind is Diplo favor, which is why I'm taking my time with this. Like this? Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not guaranteed to go to war. We don't have to do that. I'm gonna spend one more. I think over time, I don't care. Let's see if. Let's see if I. Uh, if I needed to spend these extra points. Nice. It was all scientists, so I didn't need to spend as much as we as we did. I could have committed. Uh, there were six here, two, four. I could have. I I could have just gone two. Yeah, I didn't commit to vamps yet. We just unlocked it. Owls is great for diplo points. That's a good point too. I wonder if we should just go into owls then. How did this one shake out? Wow, everybody voted production. So I, you guys are absolutely right. I did not have to spend. But that's okay. That's okay. We start with two Diplo victory points. Which is good. Everybody, Almost everybody has the two, though. But we're one-tenth of the way there. Huzzah. And I don't, I don't have the governors to worry about this at the moment. I will soon. Hey, there's our wonder production. I could also use this for Mahabadi, but if we get Mausoleum first, it's better. I don't think Mahabadi's built yet. Although it's not on my list. Maybe it is gone. I haven't noticed it being built, but that doesn't mean it didn't. 
I don't see it on the list, so I, I guess it's uh, maybe not available to us, which makes this holy site super awkward. Yeah, we might have to found the religion to see it. Yeah. That's a fair point. Uh, and Shaka lost his golden age. So we don't have loyalty issues here anymore. That is a good thing. Pleased to see that. Uh, and if I buy one tile, we get all the tiles. I would like to get all the tiles, please. Actually, I can just buy this one and then buy that one. Buy this one, get the mine. Boop. Give me all... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Awkward. This is where we want to double back, actually, to circumnavigate this era. Should be fine. These are all less than ideal. I don't know why the yields got all funkified on that. I'm just gonna culture bomb. Oh, we got the tile. I was going to culture bomb that tile away. Whoops. Could have done that earlier. Missed the first 80 turns. What's the setup? Yeah, there's the game setup there for you. Thank you. Are you active? This is not active. That's interesting. How much more Magnus Chop do we do? We've got that one. We've got this one. We've got three more. I'm moving Magnus. You're, I'm done with you. Uh, Actually, I shouldn't move you yet. I should w get the last settler so I don't lose population. And then we'll do it. Don't need anything here. I think so, Zond. I think I'm still thinking Diplo. Hey, thanks, C Note. I appreciate you. I have this to deal with. Thank you. Must have been hard for you to say. More tiles. Yeah, I've got some barbs. <laughs> I don't have an Instagram, Bearcat. 
Maybe I should. I don't care as much about the mines as the chops. Although that mine matters. That one matters a bit. And then pretty quick we'll have Magnus here. We'll try to get Mausoleum. Do all the things. It'll be great. It will be great. I also need... I don't have money. I need more builders. I want all the builders. Uh, this is extended diplomacy. The and the Exclamation point mods. See note. Am I done with settlers? Boop. Or do I want to get one more? I think I can be done with Settlers. And then Magnus moves. We're in Monumentality, so God forbid we can we can get another couple uh, couple cities via that if we want to. No society yet. I feel weird about it. I feel super weird about it. Oh, you're going here. Oops. I have taken you in the wrong direction. That is my, that is my mistake. Go that way. We don't live in a society? I certainly don't. Can vampire mansions fill the empty space between your city centers and your districts? Yeah, technically, but you want them next to tile yields, ideally. Like, good spots for vampire castles would be, like, here, maybe, or even here. Like any, like even this, right? Like make a bunch of mines here and then throw a vampire castle down. It'll have like a farm and then just tons of production and five extra culture. Like it's really good. But I'm, I'm still thinking about uh, void or not void. I'm still thinking about uh, owls. I will eventually have more governor titles. What is this Magnus thing? Magnus is a governor who uh, gives us 50% extra production towards our chops. Uh, and I want to chop out some wonders. So Magnus is a powerful governor. Actually, I should put Pingala in the cap now. Ah, uh, they're about the same. They're actually about the same. Can get this aqueduct now. Okay. Glorious Empire. I just love the culture bombing. We get so much out of it. Up to 12 housing in the cap. That's good. Let's make sure we're growing. Am I worried about Shaka? If Shaka invades, it could be a little spicy for a while. Let's 
That's certainly a thing that could happen to us. Yeah, we had a fair amount of lakes in this Highlands map, which is a little odd. Oh, no. Oh, no. My circumnavigation. I wanted to do it. Where's my other scout? All right. Scout number two dead. Sad. He has 90. Yeah, I'm a little. Okay, I am a little scared at Shaka. Musket cores would be really devastating for us. I don't know how to make him like me. Rip. Cradle religion. He has a religion, so that's definitely not going to make him like me. That's going to make him do the opposite of that. All right. Time to found our religion. Me thinks yes. Muffin with your Twitch Prime. Thank you, Muffin. Thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back with that Prime. Thank you so much for taking the time to spend that here. I appreciate you. Ooh. Boo, indeed. How's it going? I want to go up that way. I know, I know. I built Stonehenge. Isn't that crazy? Thank you, Muffin. Thank you, thank you, friend. Yields by the chariot up north. Yeah, that's where we're heading to settle, ideally. Oh. Peppermint Butler. AKA Dido. I will loyalty flip the crap out of you. Do not think that I won't. I will. I will do it. You're going to settle right there, aren't you? No, you're going to settle right there. Our religion name is Gallstones. We've already uh, decided on that, uh, you bring light in. Fitting with what with the stone circles and all that. And it feels, it kind of like our choices sort of feel like we have Gallstones because they're bad. <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, it, it, nope, not our own continent. Not her home continent. We we do we can absolutely loyalty flip it. All right, what's the gallstone symbol? Most painful religion to spread and follow, right? Crabs because they make me crabby. Turtle always looks a little nice. Lion's head always looks nice. I always like the elephant. Let's let's do the elephant so that we remember our mistakes from this game and don't don't make them in further games. Let us remember the pain of gallstones. Yes? Perfect. Too much backseat gaming here? <laughs> That's like your opinion or something. People like to participate and I don't mind. Something I've never seen anyone do is make a guide on how to push AI to declare war. That's an interesting thought, zombie. That's an interesting thought. I think I like divine inspiration. It's eight faith per turn already. We only have wonders in the city that we're founding this in. So we're only going to have our religion in one city to start here. 
Zen meditation could be kind of good. It's like one of those that doesn't really require you to have a faith focused approach, uh, which we certainly do not. We're sort of we're sort of lazily using this. Religious community could be okay as well. But I think I like divine inspiration the most. Because it's a source of faith, and I just don't have that unless we decide to go void, and I don't really want to go void. So I think we go Divine Inspiration. And then what do we want? World Church? Pagodas is cute. And not all the religions are founded, so I can't guarantee that I would get that. Sacred Places does fit the theme, but I only have a wonder I only have wonders in one city right now. Eventually we'll make that we'll we'll make that a thing. Something like Holy Order or something for, for religion spread makes a lot of sense because again, we're not gonna have that much faith in order to to do anything with it. But that's true too, Max. Like, we don't really want that many religious districts. So I don't know how many pagodas we're actually getting. That's a very good point. I wonder if something for, for spread just makes sense. Like, either holy order, maybe even preachers, maybe even scripture. Maybe scripture. And we go grab printing and then maybe grab uh, Forbidden City as well. I could see scripture doing a thing. Like one missionary plus scripture might spread it all the way to our uh all the, all the way to our other cities. That'll be our candle belief. Then we need then we'll still need a book belief. And and at that point once we've spread some of our religion, something like tithe or world church will make sense. And then we can sort of slouch into a building that we don't super care. So I think I like scripture. We're, we are we are playing I am making choices in this game that I may have never made in in previous games past I don't think I've ever picked scripture before it's very rare that I want a religion in such a game like this uh, but because Diplo is a thing and because temple hopefully is still a thing I think this is how we do it gallstones is the true path of salvation. And don't you forget it. We only have it here. After after I get this shrine, we're gonna we're gonna grab a couple missionaries to spread uh, at least a little bit, and then hopefully rely on our um, passive spread for the rest of it. That's a good tile for you. All right, we've got nine turns on this harbor. I want to save for the lighthouse, right? Because I think I need lighthouse for mausoleum. No, just the harbor. Okay, never mind. We good, we good. Can I get Mahabadi here now? It is still available. Perfect. Galapagos too, exactly. Exactly, you get it. You get it. Um, also, we could... Uh... Okay. I was very nervous to see the results of that. Now, now what, the, what they should do... Now, this would be Wamboozly of Firaxis. And I'm not necessarily opposed to it. What if... Based on our searches, especially when it came to wonders, it sent a message to the AI that they should be building it because we're prioritizing it. Wouldn't that be dastardly? Oh, that would be wicked. They should definitely not do that. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Statue of Liberty. We'll see. We 
We will see. It should have they have enough intel. Be considered part of Exiv is interested in rumors. I, I could see that, honestly. I hate you, Phoenicia. I'm still settling up here. This is absolutely still a thing I'm doing. I should have done this last turn and then we could have been happier, but it's okay. Could be really interesting in multiplayer, yeah. That'd be cool for like rumors and speculation and stuff. Actually, I think I want this, don't I? No, I want a campus. I can't believe I'm building workshops. Ooh. Do not like. Build an aqueduct will do. Sure. Walls might be better here, but we can grab the engineer for walls and get them here. I don't know why they took away the ability to sell maps and trade that info. It definitely seems odd to me that we cannot do that. Should I redeem my 50k by having me plan the districts for the first city of Civ 6 you'll ever play? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny to me that you don't play a hero. What do I think the hardest Civ is to play well? Not necessarily the worst Civ, but a decent or good one that's complex to play. I think the, I think the, the highest skill cap Civ is, are the Aztecs. personally. I'm going to take nine culture for now. Babylon, pretty difficult too. There are definitely a, a bunch in that category. And my body needs the temple, right? All right. Why the Aztecs? Because they're complicated. Uh, it's hard to take advantage of, of the amenity stuff. Uh, it's hard to prioritize certain things at certain times. Like th th There's just a lot of um, high-level things that you can do with them, like one turning a spaceport. That isn't exactly like super straightforward or available for new people, etc. Vietnam's fairly straightforward to play. You just build the good stuff. Okay, we, we can finally... I could go Grants. I don't really want to go Grants. I think I'm ready to commit to a secret society. So these are these are the... Uh, we already looked at Hermetic. It was really bad. It was really bad on our map. Maya is on that list for sure, PK. I don't know. Vampire mode is really good. So let's let's talk about okay, if we're going to pollute the world and then win a diplo victory with carbon recapture projects. Do we want policy cards? Or do we want a massive capital that can rip through the, the reclaim projects? Shaka has owls. So if we go owls, then then we're good there. Owls a waste? I don't think it's a waste. I mean, a, an economic policy slot is solid. 
But there's something to be said for like triple vampire castle capital that just rips through the recapture projects. I think I might want to go vampires. I was waiting for it the whole day. <laughs> nice, Les. Um, it might invite some conflict with Shaka, which could make the game interesting. Where's my next promotion? Treat it as a sunk cost? We certainly could. You know what? I'm going to take two turns. Let's grab recorded history. And then let's grab vampires. I think we're doing... I think we're doing vampires. I'm ready for it. Alright, and then where do my vampire castles go? I really feel like this is actually a good spot for one. Do they show up on the list? Vampires with gallstones. I don't think they're on the list. I don't see it. Is that it? Oh, that is. Okay, we found it. All right, so that's a vampire castle. I can't get this tile is a bit of a problem. Where are my other castles going? This looks like an okay spot. I think for now? Nope, that's a trading dome. It does not need to be in our territory, but I can improve the tiles uh, and, and use vampire castles with tile improvements. Is this the other one, then? One, two... Nobody gets this tile, though. Mausoleum City Vampire Castle? It would be like this. How about this? How about, yeah, Volcano Yields? No, I've, I've districted. Problem is I don't get this tile. I guess it could just be a 1-3. Or maybe build it here. Maybe this. Does that work? One, two. Oh, I do. Wait, one, two, three. I do get this tile. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's do this. This is perfect. These are three ridiculous vampire tiles, yeah? So we just. We spend a few turns, we improve all of this land. And I, I know I only get like the one right away or whatever, but still. Yeah, we do get that tile. I, I, I counted wrong. And what, we're just going to make this capital absolutely massive. Uh, Eris, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Builders are 210. Yeah, all the vampire yields go to our castle. So if I buy this one tile... I grab a couple here. Oh, I can't. We'll wait. Will I be staging a moon landing? <laughs> I don't know. Trade Diplo for gold? No, we're doing Diplo victory stuff, so I don't want to trade Diplo for gold. That seems bad.
It's the no. The, it's not the that you don't get the yield of the tile itself. It's just the surrounding ones. And and let's focus on this one first. Uh, Har Harl Ben, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome on in. Very good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I guess I build those. I, I, I hate every time I click on the workshop, I'm sad. I can't buy that. I don't want to buy that, rather. Let's just do this for right now. So this city will go on the silk. On the silk should be okay. Could be. Could be snazzy. I don't think we'll ever do a game a day. That would be a lot. But we'll see. I plan on getting very far ahead. As far as content creation. That's my that's my biggest early goal here for 2022. I've lived through some Okay. So let's unlock our castle now. Very nice. Make sure we improve our tiles first and then we'll place the castle. Friendship expired. Let's go ahead and do that. Can I make alliances yet? Not quite. Or can I? No, not yet. Exploration, then civil service. Then we'll make some alliances. If I'm allied with everybody before we go to war, then it'll be less painful. Again, I want to be a little bit careful. Maybe, like, don't take Ulundi. I don't know. And then how about this? I still think I like this. Get to exploration with the extra culture we've got. Yeah, okay. So many skirmishers. Oh my goodness. I want to send these builders down south for our vampire castles. Okay.
This is annoying. Yeah. Super annoying. All right. Oh, we might get woolen. That'd be kind of cool. I will take this road. Oh, I already kind of have that road. Oh well. Oh well. Um, all right, you're gonna settle here. And then maybe you just on this. Yeah. Seems fine. The gall mechanic title expires after the game. Thank you, Dasher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is going to be sick. Uh, I'd rather just have the farm, I think, right? For the cap. And then this becomes a castle and is really good. This is actually a useful engineer at the moment. I will take it. Comes with one or two charges. Three charges. That's pretty good. We'll see if we can get a fourth. How much do I value the wall shot from industrial zones? Is it a useless gimmick or A tier defense buff? Somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. The vast majority of the time, you're not going to want it or need it. But when you need it, it's awesome to have. So it's kind of like a situationally powerful ability, I would say. I also love Kohokia Mounds less. They're one of my top top ones as well. Oh, hi. All right, so first vampire castle on the way. Nine food, ten production, and five culture. I already killed a unit with a knight. Like this. Honestly. Three turns on this is really good. Yeah, so now we're up to 58 production in the cap. It's pretty good. Oh, 
Um, I actually need this one charge builder to time this perfectly, which we will do momentarily. Production goal for the cap, probably like 150 with vampire castles eventually. I don't think we're doing Rur, so I don't think we're going to do like three, oops, 300 some production or whatever. But maybe. But maybe. I did, T. We, we selected stone circles. All right. With, with the advent of vampire castles, uh, let's go ahead and put a cut in the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on the YouTubes. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can sell things. Maybe we'll sell some things when we get back. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.